This is Cascade Sports. I'm Anthony Rashid. I'm here with Greenview's girls head coach, Shannon Moore. How you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I've been the girls coach now. This is year seven for me. Uh, this season thus far, we're nine and five. Last year, we finished up 22 and four, uh, second in districts, uh, in class four, district 14. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've been enjoying my years, nine years teaching at Grandview High School, uh, physical education and health. Uh, started up and uh, graduated from Bishop Hogan in 1986. Uh, played for Andy Jackson, who used to be the head coach at uh, Lincoln College Prep before he passed away a few years ago, and he, he got me into coaching. Mm -hmm. uh, got my start uh, being his assistant over at Lincoln. Uh, so, he, you know, he helped to baptize me into right. to coaching basketball. Okay. So who, who are some of the African-American leaders, past or current, that inspire you? Uh, growing up, you know, we, as a young person, I always was it was talk talked to about uh, Dr. King, mm -hmm. uh, Malcolm X, uh, in our in our community. Um, Reverend Abel used to be at Palestine Missionary Baptist Church was a strong leader in the community. I grew up on Thirty Third and Benton, um, and his church was a major influence in that community. Uh, but uh, growing up as a young person, I always read books on uh, Dr. King and Malcolm X. Uh, Malcolm X's autobiography and just some other things that I was, uh, you know, my parents making us read books growing mm -hmm. up as a youth. So, you know, those those men always I looked up to. Okay. You touched on Martin Luther King being the inspiration for you. Uh, talk about what are some of the things you feel like some of these high school kids would take uh, away from playing on Martin Luther King's Day at the Sprint Center? Well, just the opportunity to be able to get in a facility like this uh, in the downtown community. I know uh, when my folks were growing up, uh, a lot of times they weren't allowed to mm -hmm. to be in this area, um, especially at certain times of the day, um, just because it, downtown was a very popular place to, to hang out and, and, and do business. Um, so we were exclusive to certain areas uh, in, in the Kansas City area. Uh, segregation, of course, was pretty uh, prevalent back in those days. Um, but uh, for them, uh, they're probably not too aware of what was was past and what's present. They just know that they have the opportunities, but they don't understand that there have been a lot of people who have paved the way mm -hmm. for them to have the opportunity to, to come out and participate in the game of basketball on a, on a day like this. is It's, it's pretty major. It is. So what advice are you giving to some of these young players who have the dream to play on the next level or those who want to play pro ball? Well, I think with both of the uh, men that I talked about, even with uh, Reverend Abel, I think the most important thing that they always try to emphasize was education, mm -hmm. being intelligent young people, knowing uh, knowing your history, uh, knowing where you come from, uh, knowing the uh, the forefathers who have, who have paved the way, even the, the, the women who have helped to pave the way, because there have been women too that have been uh, active in the role of leadership or just in supporting those who are leaders. Um, but just knowing your, your history, getting a good education so that if the game is ever taken away from you, whether it be injury or just lose passion for it, that you have something to fall back on uh, that will help to sustain you and, and your family or you maybe even just give the opportunity to someone else you know, that who wasn't afforded the same opportunity you, you may have. You can bless them along the way. Mm -hmm. And what advice would you give to those players who want to be one and done because of the money? Um, it's a tough situation, uh, you know, economically speaking for some, uh, when you don't have and those dollars are out there, it's a hard thing to turn down when you want to provide for your family. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, I, I think that's the a college friend of mine, we always used to have that argument in the 80s about whether or not you leave early or whether or not you stay, and I was pro stay and get your education, mm -hmm. and he was go get the money, but you know, and it's, and it's when you have a family that's in need, um, you know, you always are thinking that in, in the forefront of your mind, what can I do to help my family? So, and as a young man, you want to provide for your family, at least you should want to do those things to see to give them opportunities. Um, so it, it, it's a struggle, it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. But again, I say uh, you have to be smart with your money, you have to know how to manage your money, and you have to surround yourself with people who are going to have your best interest at heart. So. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. All right. This is Coach Moore, I'm Anthony Rashid. For more videos, visit CascadeSports.tv. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. All right, appreciate it, man. Good job. CMG wants you to always remember the victory we call success goes to the best prepared. When you invest in your community, you're really just investing in yourself. Thanks. Thanks.